Welcome to Computer Specialist YouTube channel. Um, today we are going to be replacing a battery on an HP uh, 15-CS1065CL. Um, most of the HP 15-CS models should all be similarly the same. Um, so, uh, you know, you can use this video and pretty much uh, figure those ones out. Uh, this particular model, a uh, customer brought in, um, the original battery was working fine and, um, somebody else prior worked on it and they were, I don't know, they weren't sure if they replaced it or there was, um, multiple things happening with this. Uh, one of the things that could be a problem with yours too, is if you feel this bubbled out, that's what the lady was explaining. Um, these have problems where the batteries implode and they, um, break out the mounts and all kinds of fun stuff. Um, so, uh, we're going to pull this apart. Um, I got the replacement battery, uh, explain to you how to go about grab, uh, getting that if you're unsure which one to get. And, um, you know, we're, we're just going to assume that it's the battery on this, which it usually is, you know, so, um, I feel it's going to be the battery cause it was working fine. And then all of a sudden it just stopped charging completely, uh, on her. Um, so if you need to get the model off of your, uh, thing, the model is written right here, real small. Uh, sometimes you have to use the phone. Uh, with that being said, uh, we're going to pull this apart. Um, so on this model, um, you got to pull these little rubber pads out right here. Be careful. Um, I usually pull them out to stick them right neck alongside. You're only going to do the back two by the hinges. Um, these two have no screws under them on, on this particular model. Uh, so these screws, uh, really important on this model, uh, is that these things have very weak hinge setups on all these HP models. If you've worked on them before, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, so once these screws come out, um, these particular three screws right here, um, they actually help hold in the, the, um, hinges in. So I'll explain this. So you got those three back here, two over here, one here, and you got three up front here on an angle. Um, these are a little bit smaller. So if your screwdriver head isn't fitting right, um, get a smaller screwdriver. Um, I can tell right now that something's weird with this screw over here. So there might be some kind of adjustment that the prior people that worked on it made. I feel it's not coming out fully right, but we got it out. All right, so real important here. So keep at this point, you're gonna keep this um, shut. So you want the screen shut on here. Uh, you know, grab your pick or whatever you have uh, prior, and you basically just want to run around the edges here. Um, you want to leave this shut the entire time. So you want to do this at an angle here. Uh, you know, um, once you get a part that's up a little bit, um, it helps to put a little pressure on there, and uh, you know, try to refrain from. Opening up the laptop, uh, you don't want to move the hinges is what you're trying to do here. So you're trying to basically get this here and uh, work it around, you know, it, it depends on a model. This one's slightly beat up, so I'm going to do that. Uh, once you get it where it's up enough, you can usually wiggle it. Uh, if you feel a spot that seems tight, which I'll do back here, sometimes it's good to get the pick in there. Yeah, yeah there it was. And then basically wiggle, wiggle, and, uh, you know, it, it'll eventually come off. All right. So uh, we have it apart. Uh, first thing I see, uh, so there's some glue work here. And there's actually tape on the battery, so <laughs> black tape. So if you can see that right there, that's not normal. So it looks like somebody maybe nicked the battery or imploded and they taped over um which is probably the smell that somebody was feeling but they did glue this hinge in um so one of the first things that i like to do on these um these are the hinges i was talking about that break out um i like to torque these down uh there's one screw here one screw here because these usually loosen up over time and that's what causes the um hinges to break out on these um also so there's two screws here two screws there uh unrelated to the battery replacement um so basically this is the battery so you're going to see there's four screws so there's a one two three four there so we're going to take the four screws up uh 
Uh, so this battery has no cable connector on it. It's basically just plugs directly into the motherboard, which is kind of like, I kind of like because less to go wrong. So there should be four screws in those batteries. Uh, this one might be a little bit. There's a little glue, hot glue there. But basically it pries off right here. So you basically want to pull this up from there. So pull this back, which will disconnect the connector right here. And then uh, let's see. Yeah, not too bad. A little glue. And that's it. Now on this battery, um, you're going to see uh, the HP label on there basically. And... Uh, I get my camera focused there um you're gonna see a number right on here and basically what happens on these is there's a l number on there so it's l97300 hyphen 0085 um on that model um i think what's happening is the light might be yeah there we go the glare of that so you can see it right there yeah so basically um that model um is what what you would order so if you're going to order your other ones uh there also is this model right here the big hw03xl um and there's a re part number two replacement part number so basically um the rule of thumb that we have here is um you can look up that number or if you find a different model number just check the holes and the connector, you know, um, and grab one. But I do recommend grabbing the HP uh, because the aftermarket ones are horrific. Uh, yeah. That being said, we have our replacement here. So um, this is pretty much a simple job. So we're going to put this back in. So the key here is you want to put the back mounts in. You want to get it here and then you want to just press down here. And that's it. And that's it. Now we're going to put the four screws back in. Um, Obviously, we're going to put these four in. Uh, no particular order with these. You're just going to put them in. Um, and like I said, the whole goal to this is do not open these hinges because it actually uses the bottom of the case in these two screw holes here to, um, as, you know, pressure and, you know, helps out with the support for the hinges. So... Uh, once the bottle's removed naturally, you know, so if you open these up, you can crack these out. We have a lot of people that bring their computer in after they tried to work on it and they do the job, but they break the hinges and then the hinges is a way harder job uh, and gets pretty expensive, with, depending on what plastics you have to buy. So while that's there, um, I would recommend, uh, this has already been cleaned out, but while you're in here, you know, blow some air through the uh, the fans and we want to clean that wire out but that's pretty much it for the battery replacement uh so now you're gonna put the bottom back on um so once again uh no wrong reason you know press one side on uh this has has hot glue here so that's why i felt that resistance over there uh but once again best thing with this is working around um if something doesn't snap down you know pull it back up push it back down um these are pretty good you know that they have that there uh, so now we're gonna put three screws so once again there's six screws total three silver three black the black are thicker so they only go in the back because those are the hinge screws um so we're gonna put three in here okay and as you can see it's pretty good replacement what i will do is as soon as we get the bottom back on i'll give you a screen capture and we'll uh Let's see what, uh, hopefully it was the battery, which I feel good with that. Um, and, uh, once again, so these screws right here, I'm going to switch the tip out just because I'm going to go with a slightly thicker, um, tip to make sure you torque these down. So you want to put these ones in pretty good because, like, you know, you don't want to force them in, but you also want to make sure that they're in good because they're actually holding this hinge in the screen. So I'm gonna do that. Torque down. If you do have one of these miles too, it is good every year or so to pop off the rubber and tighten those screws down. Like I said, when those hinges break, they go. Uh, just put this back in. If you have any problems with 
these sticking down. If you have double side tape, you put in there a little little dot of crazy. We didn't got crazy. Um, put it in there, and then like it, and then uh, that's basically it. And as you can see, it's all. You want to go around one more time, make sure it's up here. And now we're gonna go. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug it in for you guys, and uh, I'm gonna show you a program that we use and. I think, and I'm going to switch it over to the screen display so you guys can see. Okay, so there you are. So when you turn it on, you're going to see um, it's going to be a slight delay, and then you're going to see a CMOS error. I think it's like a 1502. Uh, that's normal. Uh, these don't have separate CMOS batteries in them. They basically uh, use the main battery as the CMOS battery. So you'll get that. All the settings should default, and you should boot right up unless you had any odd settings in there. For the hard drive or center uh when it boots up um we already have the program on here but you can just hop on to google uh go to uh battery download this battery mod it's a free uh software by passmark uh basically you're going to open that up um you can click the little battery icon on here and then as you can see it is working um uh and here is you know the things on here so one one thing to take a look at um is right here it's got the design capacity and the full design capacity so uh so you want to make sure these are close um if you get one where the full design is like nineteen thousand, and then the design is only 10 for instance uh, that means the wear life on the battery is half and you know if you bought it paid a decent dollar for it you might want to return it uh but you can see right in here um certain things on here like charge rate don't work on certain laptops but this gets you know before we were getting all zeros and the main thing is we weren't getting charging on um we were getting charging but we were just weren't getting any um you know actual charge um you can also see um over on the side of the laptop the laptop light is orange now where before it was flashing so you know with all that being said so basically that's it um this screen also too like you have to refresh it so if you want to see if it's going up um you know wait a few minutes hit refresh and you should see this amount change or you can just use the windows thing too and you can see it's at 77 right now so you know and it shows it's charging it actually is already going on its way up there so there's a so basically that's it and uh you know like i said this model is pretty simple um you know uh we will if there's any questions you got um, i'm gonna post the battery model numbers that i have here in the description i'll post a link to the batman software um and uh you know any other questions you know feel free to comment uh sub our channel if you're not well uh, we were a little inactive for a little bit due to being very busy but now we're getting the channel back up and running full steam now so um but that's it so there it is how to replace your battery on an hp 15 hyphen cs laptop you guys have a good day